What is up everyone, Nordzeit here and Cryptic Studios with the launch of the new module made a really big mess with the tooltips so we don't know what we can sell the tooltips are not matching the campaign store etc so uh, during the preview shard testing we were actually able to sell this a legendary and epic blasphemy great axe now as you can see it says buy and pick up character I have the legendary version on another account or character and they are they were also postable so I could post it on the auction house so we're going to actually now just start it but before we start we're going to go into the preview nor dark and you can see here it should be bind on equip and same goes for legendary stormford great axe item level 2000 probably best in slots for most of the classes and uh, let's see if actually uh, it's a bug I didn't get the info and Brett Norton in the last night's stream was very vague he actually didn't know uh, what to say because he didn't have the full info so I will check out now and we're going to make this weapon it's going to take a couple of seconds and we will see if we can post them uh, I was planning to using the legendary weapons but farming on, a, on an alts or if you don't want to use them basically you can sell them and make a hefty profit out of it so here they are they are in the collections and they are bound to character so uh, the weapons are bound to character for now unless it's a bug before we could have just sell these weapons and now we cannot sell them they are bound to character and I had to confirm that it took me like hour and 45 minutes almost two hours to get another set now we are going to jump on the live shard and check what we can actually sell and I have to say the legendary weapons is going to be also bound to character if they don't change it as you can see uh, they are bound to character and majority of stuff here is bound to character so let's go and check out on the live shard what, what we can actually sell and what we cannot sell and here we are on the live shard and I have assembled some uh, items that can be sold and also uh, there is going to be a lot of confusion because in the nord dark as you saw the weapons are not bind on equip they are bound to, bound to character on equip same goes for dark maiden gear probably says bind on equip but if we go into the store or into the nord dark creature store here and go to dark maiden gear you can see it's bind on pickup character what else we have in the collections is the Dar dragon steel gear that you get from the seal store I will show you that and it's bind on equip uh, if I actually summon the seal trader right now and go to dragon you can see it says bind on pickup character so it's another tooltip bug it's a tooltip horror as I said now the draw mage tunic and uh, shirt and pants uh, are coming from the seals of the dragon so you gotta run the dungeon master temple of the spider they're binom pickup account but binom equip character you cannot move them around so another error or just a bug i'm still waiting on information about that so going back into the collection we can check out uh, some other things for example these mythic rings are binom pickup account and binom equip character and epic rings are all binom equip and we also have this uh, like i said draw mage tunic bind on equip character uh, it's not uh, it's not uh, bind on equip I'll show you that uh, this is dropping from heroic encounters uh, and it is bind on equip and we also have this uh, companion gear that is also bound to character so a lot of stuff I got all three pieces a lot of stuff is just bound to character I really don't know why they didn't put bound to account at least and call it a day so what uh, what actually we can sell uh, we got pants shirt fashion rings uh, the new really good assassin dice debuff artifact we got uh, assassin's choker we got uh, assassin's belt legendary it comes from heroic encounter and for the seals you can buy this alliance equipment and I also bought a draw slayer binon equip which gives you one hour additional damage to draw so basically that's pretty much it so let's check out the prices for this uh, if, if I post the shirt you can see it's already 2.6 thousand 
pants 4.1 thousand uh, fashion is around 30 thousand so that's holding the rings 5 thousand very 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 cheap uh, the other ring 4 thousand now the dice is jumped in price on the green uh, or rare level is around 70 thousand and around one point something million on or two on mythic level if you unbind it uh, it's a debuff artifact it's really really good and it's giving power and accuracy so that's also pretty good for the stats and high item level now uh, we have this like i said assassin's choker 41,000, and we have third piece assassin belt 27,000. a lot of people are doing these heroic encounters big heroic encounters and these items are just dropping from those encounters regarding this uh, alliance here it's only 4000 but you can just spend the seals and that's pretty much it the drow slayer is best in slot uh, for this area a new dungeon and it costs 43000 um, if you want to buy it from the store um, let me see how much it costs it ho it costs 100 house banery coins so um, as you saw the weapons are bound on pickup character we cannot sell them uh, we could have made a hefty profit out of it i'm not really sure if i'm going to use them i will use them probably or i would just buy them or something like that uh, what is actually interesting is that we have a last but not least in the collection the second artifact set tentacle rod with tentacle eye and also tentacle wrap bind on equip and it's coming from temple of the Sp spider master so if you go on the auction house and type tentacle you can see the tentacle wrap can be sold it's 335,000 for the belt uh let's see 1.1 million for the uh actual eye and tentacle rod on the green level is 2 million because not a lot of people is running the dungeon so this will drop in prices will drop uh, next week when most of the people run the dungeon and it eventually it will become uh, not obsolete but cheaper much much cheaper that is it i think i covered everything uh the mythic rings uh the clothing the weapons we cannot sell them we cannot make profit because i can tell you for the end of this video that legendary weapon quest takes a long time and um with the party with some friends it will go faster it's still a lot of grinding and we're gonna need uh, i think 2.5 thousand house banner coins which is not a problem uh doing heroic encounters and repeatable quests uh we can unlock the new weapons uh on the i think seventh week that is it for this video um i hope this will help if there is an update actually about this i will i'll make sure to uh, make another video and uh, that's it shout out to my faithful channel members i hope you are having a good day and Northside is out